You've heard of average draft position, ADP? Well, this is ARR, Average Rookie Rankings. Happy Hobby, I'm David Ganes, and today we're talking about 2024 Tops Series 1 Rookies. Now, I've already done a video on my top five rookies uh, rookie cards coming into this 2024 season. The Series 1 rookie cards, I think, are the best uh, pickups uh, once this once this series finally came out. Now, since then, it's been a couple months. There's a lot of other people have come out with their rankings, a lot of good uh, writers, good content creators. So I thought, you know what? Man, we need to put together an average rankings, get everyone's rankings from a bunch of these different spots, put them together, Let's figure out what the average rookie rankings are, which would give you an idea of the consolidated kind of figured out what the best rookies to get for this series are. Because my opinion, that might not be much, but another guy's opinion, plus my opinion, plus another guy's opinion. Finally, we're getting somewhere. So the people we've added to this or the uh, ranking entities we've added to this are Scotty B cards. You know, Scotty B cards, you're, you're not watching sports cards content on YouTube and not familiar with Scotty B cards. He's awesome. He does great rookie uh, rankings. So he did his. We have Card Lines, one of my favorite content creators for sports card content. Also, Tops, Tops.com. They did their own rankings on their Tops Ripped content website. Sports Illustrated got into the game with doing some uh, 2024 Top Series 1 rookie card rankings. Uh, and David Gunnis, I don't know. That's me. I'm, I'm in this too. I averaged it in, put myself in there. So the way I did this was uh, I took all the players that were mentioned in all of the rankings, gave them a number, obviously assigned them a number, averaged it all out so that everyone was equal. Well, in some cases, Andy Rodriguez, for instance, he wasn't ranked by Tops or Sports Illustrated, mostly because, I don't know, I... Don't know. But I ranked them, and Scotty B. Cards ranked them, and Card Lines ranked them. So what we did, we averaged them out according to the people that did rank them. So in other words, if three sites ranked them, then we averaged their ranking by three. And so that's where we came up with this number. So it's not a perfect system, but what are you going to do? So let's get into this. So first, obviously, right off the bat, Ellie De La Cruz, the shortstop for Cincinnati. Now, I put the age in here because that's important. That's important to consider the younger they are, the better chance they have of accumulating stats to build up that Hall of Fame resume. So, Ellie De La Cruz, 22.2 years old. How are you point two? I don't know how that works, but it's like two, three months old, maybe. Anyways, 20, he's over 22 years old. He's the number one guy. Everyone uh, in this ranking thing agreed he's the number one guy. Made the opening day, obviously. He's uh, a hopeful superstar to be. Jason Dominguez, the Martian. Now, there's a guy that's injured on the injured list, and we're not going to see him for a while, probably till midseason, but he's 21, just over 21 years old. So a lot of, there's a lot of hope there. You can see I darkened everyone that's 22 uh, years old. I darkened their age in, the, in that box. So you, if they stood out to you, this is someone who's younger than most of the players on this list, so they have uh, a higher upside, uh, so to speak. Uh, then we got Evan Carter. Now, this is the second youngest guy on this list at 21 and about 21 and a half years old. Now, Evan Carter was a superstar in the playoffs last year. We know what he can do. We know he's going to be fantastic. Started opening day this year, hitting third for the World Series champion, Texas Rangers. Good things ahead for Evan Carter. I may have underranked him at three. I may have, should have put him at two, uh, quite possibly. Speaking of underranked, I think I may have overranked uh, Marco Luciano, shortstop for the San Francisco Giants. He started the season in AAA. We're going to season him a little bit more. Then you got Colton Kowser. I, I ranked him fourth. He's a bench player for uh, the Baltimore Orioles. And Baltimore Orioles are stacked. They have a lot of talent and a lot of talent coming up to the system. He's going to need to fight for some time and fight for some at-bats. 
for sure. But at 24 years old, he's still a young guy. Uh, I'm hopeful. Now we get into this second tier here, the 6 through 10. Andy Rodriguez, as we mentioned, injured. Uh, he, he hurt his elbow. He's on the injured list. So at 23.8 for a catcher, or for a catcher, I should say, still very young. Now you see, uh, we'll see, we'll come up to Henry Davis in a second, but that's obviously catcher, catcher, you know, what's going to happen there. So you have to expect probably Henry Davis might be moved out of that catcher spot. We'll get to him in a second. Curtis Mead, my guy, number seven, third baseman for Tampa Bay. Now he's behind Isaac Paredes. He's behind a few guys in that middle infield, but I do think they need his bat. So I think they're going to end up working him in at different spots, whether it's DH or just getting him some at-bats. Um, at, uh, across the infield. Now, remember, Tampa Bay is famous for using utility guys all over the place. So good for fantasy, and uh, hopefully that's good for uh, helping Curtis develop into something bigger. Number eight, Zach Geloff, second baseman for Oakland. This is another guy I think I underranked a little bit. He's batting second for the opening day roster for the uh, Oakland Athletics. It's pretty good. The future Las Vegas A's. By the way, Las Vegas A's, Las Vegas Aces in the WNBA, what are they going to do? Who's going to win? Who's going to win that naming thing? Number nine, Christian Encarnacion Strand, uh, first base, third base for Cincinnati. He is. Uh, he did make the opening day roster. Sal Frelick, now here's a guy I do think maybe I did under rank. Why? Well, he's batting leadoff for the Milwaukee Brewers uh, on opening day. So at 23.9 years old. Uh, that's perfect. He's he's in a perfect spot to um, really make some strides. Number 11. Okay, my phone's just blowing up. Number 11, Ronnie Mauricio, this middle infielder for the New York Mets, injured, knee problem. So 23 years old, he still has lots of, ta- lots of time ahead of him. Number 12, Nolan, Nolan Shenuel for the Angels. We'll see what this guy can do. I feel like he's um, he made their opening day roster as a starter. I do feel like he may be somebody that is kind of a a, um, a light hitting uh, corner infielder. So to say he's somebody you should really collect, I don't know, light hitting, more like a, a hit for average guy, I should say. And we like the sluggers here. Uh, Henry Davis, that catcher, outfielder, we might see him maybe more in the outfield once uh, Rodriguez does get healthy. Um, but Henry Davis, the former number one overall pick, 14th, Gavin Williams uh, on the elbow. He's got elbow problems. He's on a 15-day out to start, but he's probably the best pitcher. Well, he's not probably. is the only pitcher in this top 15 uh, at 24 years old, though. Sedani Raffaella. Now, this is an opening day starter in center field for the Boston Red Sox, so that's a great thing. He's only 23 and a half years old, so that's a good thing. There's a guy that I definitely underranked and that I did not have him ranked, so I blew it on that one. 16, Jordan Westberg for those Baltimore Orioles, middle infield. Well, I guess he's just an infielder in general. Uh, and he did start for opening day. But he's 25 years old. Uh, probably not going to be a great card to hold on to. Now, Tyler Soderstrom, though, catcher first base for Oakland. At just 22 years old, this is somebody that's interesting. Keep an eye on him. He is starting the season in A though. But keep an eye on him for uh, the future. Might be something there. David Schneider. Second base for Toronto. The only people that ranked him were Scotty B. Cards. He did make the opening day roster for those Blue Jays, but he started on the bench, and he's 25 years old already. Probably not somebody you want to run out and grab some Topps Gold cards of. Speaking of Topps Gold, I followed Patrick Imhoff's suggestion and grabbed a Topps Gold card from Ronnie Mauricio uh, for 8 bucks. $8, I got a Ronnie Mauricio Tops Gold rookie card. So I'm excited. Who gets- so let me hear what you guys think in the comments. I want to know below. Let me know about these prospects. Which ones did I miss on? Which ones did all of us miss on because it's an average? And which ones were you surprised were higher than others? I want to know in the comments below. Let me know some of your rankings in the comments. Also, whatever you do, have a great opening day. Have a great opening weekend. And have a happy hobby.